class. Sorry I can't be there today, so we're going to do this lesson through the video. Last lesson, do you remember what we were talking about? There's a teacher here in a blackboard. Do you remember what we were talking about? Let's have a look closely. What does the heading say? Lesson one, we need more male teachers. So let's look at the key words we have. We need more male teachers. That's right. Let's look a bit closely. Here we have a picture of people together. That is we. Something that we need. More of. And male teachers. We need more male teachers. So my question is, what do you think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Hopefully, once we finish this lesson, you will be able to decide if you agree or disagree. At the start of lesson one, we learnt a passage with a dialogue. 
let's listen to it again to remind us what we learned. Junior Debate Club, Book Two, published by EduPlanet. Lesson One. We need more male teachers. Listen to this. Jack is a fourth grader at Brent Elementary School. This year, his homeroom teacher is a woman again, and he is a little disappointed because he has never had a male teacher. There are only five male teachers at Brent Elementary School. So it is almost impossible to expect a male teacher to be your homeroom teacher. However, boys like Jack would like to learn from male teachers. They think male teachers would understand boys better, and they would feel more comfortable with male teachers. Sometimes Jack even feels that his homeroom teacher favors the girls. Also, some boys in the class think she is unfair. It seems like she is stricter with boys than girls. She disciplines boys for no reason, and she is too generous with girls. Boys have feelings too, and they can be as easily hurt as girls. What they really need is a male teacher who understands and encourages them. Okay, did you listen well? Good job, guys. We're going to move on and talk about some words you might not know. In the passage, there's a lot of words that could be difficult to understand. We're going to look at some key words now and talk about them. First, impossible. Repeat after me. Impossible. Impossible. This word means it can never happen. What can you see on the screen in the picture? I can see a unicorn. Can you see it? Just here. Have you ever seen a real unicorn? No, it's impossible. It's not real. Impossible. All right, down here. Comfortable. Comfortable. Okay, try and repeat after me. Comfortable, comfortable. In the picture, we see a cat. Now, you know I love cats. And looks like he's sitting on a sofa or laying down. He looks very happy and he doesn't want to move. He looks very comfortable. I think he likes it there. Okay, next word. Disappointed, disappointed. Now you can see the lady, she's doing an action with her hand. Oh no, what's happened? Something may have went wrong or she didn't do as good as she wanted to do. Sometimes you do an exam or a test and you don't get the score that you want. So you can feel disappointed. Disappointed. Favours. Favours. This is a little bit difficult to pronounce, but you need to really use your lips up into your teeth and favours. Favours. Here we have a teacher. And is she helping a boy student or a girl student? In the back, we see a boy. He's working all by himself with no help. And here the girl is working, but the teacher is helping her. So she might favor the girls. Favors. You make a difference. To be generous. Generous. Try and repeat after me. Generous. Generous. When you're generous to someone, you can either be giving them something or helping them with something. 
giving them love, giving them support, giving them food or even money. When you make a difference in someone's life, whether it's small or big, you can be generous. Down here, encourages, encourages. In the picture here, we see a girl or a lady, looks like she's doing a marathon. And at the finish line, we can see maybe her friends. They're cheering her on. Let's go, you can do it, you can do it. They are giving encouragement. They encourage her, encourages them, encourages them. All right, one more time, everyone. Impossible, impossible. Comfortable, comfortable. Disappointed, disappointed. Favours, favours. Generous, generous, encourages, encourages. All right, great job, everyone. Now I want you to listen and repeat. I'm going to say a line or a sentence. And when I stop, I want you to stop. What I say, I want you to repeat. Do you understand? Let's try it now. Jack is a fourth grader at Brent Elementary School. This year, his homeroom teacher is a woman again. And he is a little disappointed. because he has never had a male teacher. There are only five male teachers at Brent Elementary School. So it is almost impossible to expect a male teacher to be your homeroom teacher. However, boys like Jack would like to learn from male teachers. They think male teachers would understand boys better. And they would feel more comfortable with male teachers. Sometimes, Jack even feels that his homeroom teacher favours the girls. Also, some boys in the class think she is unfair. It seems like she is stricter with boys than girls. She disciplines boys for no reason. And she is too generous with girls. Boys have feelings too. And they can be as easily hurt as girls. What they really need is a male teacher who understands and encourages them. All right, great job, everyone. Let's move on. Okay, everybody, question time. Number one, what grade is Jack in? Do you remember what they talked about? That's right, he's in the fourth grade fourth grade. Question number two. How many male teachers are at Brent Elementary School? Three, four or five? 
That's right. There are five male teachers at Brent Elementary School. And question number three, do boys have feelings too? Absolutely, yes, 100%. Everybody has feelings. Girls have feelings and boys have feelings and teachers have feelings. Everybody has feelings. So we have to respect each other and be nice to each other. Okay, last lesson, we answered some questions and we're just gonna review them now. Question number one, why is Jack disappointed about his teacher? He's disappointed because his teacher is female again. Number two, how many male teachers are in the school? That's right, we just did that. There are five teachers. What does Jack think about male teachers? Male teachers understand boys better. Number four, what does Jack think about his homeroom teacher? She is generous to girls. Okay, then we came down here to teach someone to obey rules, discipline. To give someone confidence to do something, encourage. Willing to help others, generous. A classroom where students have to go at the beginning of every school day. Homeroom. And to think that something will happen. Expect. These are some good words to remember. So repeat after me. Discipline. Discipline. Encourage. Encourage. Generous. Generous. Homeroom. Homeroom. Expect. Expect. Fantastic job, guys. You're doing really well today. I'm so proud of you. For your homework, you had to write answers for each argument. So two agree and two disagree. For each one, good and bad, good and bad. Having female teachers is good because, having female teachers is bad because, having male teachers is good because, and having male teachers is bad because. Next lesson, I'm going to check both of them. Today, we're going to move on to page 12 and 13. On page 12 and 13, we have a little mini debate style going on. First, hear me out, we can see Hannah's argument. Then coming down, we see a rebuttal from Luke's argument. No way. Then we go back up, and we hear Rachel's argument. Hear me out again. Then we come down and Daniel has another rebuttal. So we listen to his argument, not a chance. Let's look at it more closely. First, let's listen to the argument. Hear me out. Listen to Hannah's argument and fill in the blank. I think gender does not matter. What we need is a teacher who can teach us well. I have had some male teachers and female teachers. I personally think female teachers teach better than male teachers. But I still think schools should hire teachers based on their qualifications. Okay, did you listen well? What I want you to do is read the passage aloud for homework. When we finish, you can practice reading it together. Down the bottom, Hannah argues that the gender of teachers is not an issue. So she thinks it doesn't matter if you're a male teacher 
or a female teacher. As long as you are a good teacher, that's the main thing. What do you think? Do you think the same as Hannah? Let's listen and repeat. I think gender does not matter. What we need is a teacher who can teach us well. I have had some male teachers and female teachers. I personally think female teachers teach better than male teachers. But I still think schools should hire teachers based on their qualifications. All right, good job, guys. Let's move on. They're going to go down to Luke's argument. Let's see what Luke has to say. I want you to listen carefully. No way. Listen to Luke's argument and fill in the blank. Now that I am a teenager, I feel more comfortable talking to a male teacher. Well, he was a boy once, so he understands boys' problems. He knows how to communicate with boys. Male teachers are like uncles or brothers. They can be good role models for boys. The problem is, there aren't enough male teachers. We should give some benefits to male teachers. Okay, did you listen well? Good job. Once again, I want you to read the passage aloud for homework in your own time. Down the bottom, Luke argues that he feels more comfortable talking to a male teacher. That's right. Because he's a boy, he might feel more comfortable speaking to a male teacher instead of talking to a female teacher. Might be the same for girls as well. If you're a girl, you might like to talk to a female teacher. Everyone is different. Let's listen and repeat after me. Now that I am a teenager, I feel more comfortable talking to a male teacher. Well, he was a boy once. So he understands boys' problems. He knows how to communicate with boys. Male teachers are like uncles or brothers. They can be good role models for boys. The problem is there aren't enough male teachers. We should give some benefits to male teachers. Okay, fantastic job, everyone. You're doing really well today. All right, hear me out again. Now we're on page 13. We're going to listen to Rachel's argument and fill in the blank. Everyone, I want you listening carefully now. Hear me out again. Listen to Rachel's argument and fill in the blank. All female teachers work hard, and it is unfair for female teachers if only male teachers get special benefits just to make more males choose teaching jobs. We need teachers who love us and care for us, and I think since women are more caring and considerate than men, they make better teachers. Education is not just about receiving knowledge. It must provide constant attention and love as well. Okay, who agrees with Rachel's argument? Who disagrees with Rachel's argument? Everyone has their own opinion. Once again, 
for your homework, read the passage aloud and practice it. Down the bottom, Rachel argues that women are more caring and, what was the word again? Considerate, considerate. Rachel argues that women are more caring and considerate. Do you think the same? Okay, let's listen and repeat after me. All female teachers work harder. And it is unfair for female teachers if only male teachers get special benefits. Just to make more males choose teaching jobs. We need teachers who love us and care for us. And I think since women are more caring and considerate than men, they make better teachers. Education is not just about receiving knowledge. It must provide constant attention and love as well. Okay, great job again, everyone. Now let's move on to the last argument, not a chance. Listen to Daniel's argument and fill in the blank. Everyone, I want you listening carefully now. Not a chance. Listen to Daniel's argument and fill in the blank. I think a school must hire 50% male teachers and 50% female teachers. I believe there are certain things that male teachers are good at and there are certain things that female teachers are strong at. And it is good for us to experience classes taught by both genders while we are in school. Okay, did you listen well? Fantastic. And lastly, I want you to read the passage aloud for homework. Daniel argues that schools need to hire both male and female teachers at an equal ratio. So hire means to employ a teacher at an equal ratio where we have 50% male teachers and 50% female teachers. The ratio would be one to one. Now let's listen and repeat after me. I think a school must hire 50% male teachers and 50% female teachers. I believe there are certain things that male teachers are good at. And there are certain things that female teachers are strong at. And it is good for us to experience classes taught by both genders. While we are in school. Now for homework. I want you to check your class dojo, go to the activity page, and you're going to make a video. Today we discussed Hannah's argument, Luke's argument, Rachel's argument, and Daniel's argument. There are four arguments here. I want you to choose one and record it. 
You can choose number one, two, three, or four. It's up to you. How to record your video. Number one, I want you to talk slow. Don't talk fast. Make eye contact with the camera. Number two, I want you to be confident. I want everyone to have confidence when they're speaking. Number three, try not to read. If you read and speak, it doesn't sound natural. If you can memorize it and speak, it does sound natural. Once again, talk slow, don't talk fast. Be confident and try not to read it. I'm gonna give you an example now. This is what I don't want you to do. All female teachers work hard and it's unfair for female teachers if only male teachers get special benefits just to make more males choose teaching jobs. <gasps> I don't want you to do this. I want you to talk nice and slow and clear. All female teachers work hard and it is unfair for female teachers if only male teachers get special benefits just to make more males choose teaching jobs. When you talk nice and slow, it's clear and it's easy to understand. Once again, try not to read it as well. All female teachers work hard and it is unfair for female teachers if only male teachers get special benefits just to make more males choose teaching jobs. It doesn't sound natural. Try and learn the script and say it with confidence. Okay, guys, I will see you all next lesson. Hope you have fun doing your homework. And if you have any questions, you can send me a message anytime. Bye, everyone.